Hello everybody, Defense here, and welcome to Felsburn on Farming Simulator 19. We are here set and ready to get a little bit of work done. So, I did a quick little bit of work off camera. The only thing I did was uh, I snowed the field. That was it. <laughs> Not even going to lie. All I did was lime this, uh, walked around, kind of decided a couple more things we were going to do. And as per usual for the start of my week, I also went and hit the uh, the mods page to see what was listed for mods. And there was actually a couple that I found that were cool. Uh, I think I only picked up one new mod, though. Obviously, yeah, there's always lots of cool mods, but I don't always really need them is the thing. So I don't really mind not grabbing them. But mods aside, I'll show you guys the mod in a minute if I could actually drive. But I can't because I'm a dummy. So yeah, let me get this set up. So we are going to start planting some soybeans in the big field. This is going to be our big money field. I actually talked about this in the comments, actually. I was talking to... Hmm, for whatever reason, I think Bork. I think their name's Bork. <laughs> I apologize. Let me double check. But yeah, I was talking about this in the comments of the last video, what some of my plans were for this upcoming one. Because we need money. And I really need, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, Bach, sorry. I don't know how to pronounce the beginning of the name, so I just called him Bach. But yeah, this thing's here. It's ready to go. I don't actually need my flashers on no more. If I could get this lined up, it'd be fantastic. All right, there we go. I decided there is no later. There is only now. Wow, I need a bigger one of those. It's going to take this guy forever to do this field. I also had to spend about 3000 on stuff to fill that because I am very low on it. But as I was saying, mods, I picked up one and we are going to get it set up right now. Anybody coming? Nope. Ah, let's cross the street. We have to do some weeding today too. We're going to do that in just a moment. So I'm going to stand over here so I'm not in the way. We're going to go peat and we're going to go buildings, miscellaneous. Was it miscellaneous? Yeah, right here. So I had another fuel station. I think I showed it to you guys before. Yeah, this one here. But it's got a really big footprint. Oh, this is 6,000. Oof. I think it might still be cheaper to buy the, the floating, the, the moving tank. But I want to put one of these on the farm. But let me double check before I do this. I need to see how much it costs to buy the tank tank, the actual pull behind uh it's also in miscellaneous 85 so it's 500 dollars more to have fuel on my, actually no it's six did i say six thousand what's this six six k six k yeah so it's it's better to do this so um i was looking at a couple of different spots to put it normally you probably wouldn't want to put it right here but oh hold on let me get this going because i had it lined up because I was playing around with it the other day and found a spot where it fit real nice and it looked good. Uh, let's get some rotation in. But yeah, so as I was saying, plans. One, fill that field with a crop that's going to make me lots of money. Oop, I put it the wrong way. Actually, no, we want this on the inside. Yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. Soybean is going in over there. We're going to put that right there. Boom, boom, boom. And that is because uh, this guy's pretty much out of fuel. That guy's getting low on fuel. And I think this guy's kind of low on fuel too. I might have fueled him up at one point. Nope. So yeah, all of my uh, all of my bits are running out of fuel. So I need to get everything filled. So that's what this guy here is going to do. And I'll be able to fill off of this diesel off-road tractors. 28 bucks for 20 liters. Hmm. That's for 5 gallons. Wow. Okay, that's expensive. <laughs> All right, let's get this field. Let's get set up to work on this field here. Um, another thing I noticed while I'm doing this, I keep getting a message saying that there's no space for more eggs. I don't know why I'm getting that message because, as you can see, there's plenty of space for eggs over there. But it keeps telling me that there is no space for more eggs. So I picked up the ones that were there and sold them, and it just plopped down two new ones. So I don't know. Oop, I probably shouldn't have just dropped that. But I don't know if that's an issue with that or if it's an issue with just leave it and it eventually figures it out kind of deal. So if you guys know anything about that, let me know in the comments down below. But what we have to do here 
is we're gonna spray some herbicide on our little bits over there. Boom, what do we got? Oh, look at that, we got some herbicide already in here. Let's top it off just to be safe. Yoink. Yeah, there we go. All right, good. I just wanted to empty the tank. But yeah, as I said, it'll just keep giving me that message saying, you know, uh, no space. We might see it while we're going through this, but we'll have to see. But I think that's really everything I had on the top of my head. So yeah, as I said, I, I would love to get bigger equipment, but I don't really see that happening as easily right now. Uh, let's do X to unfold this. But what I am thinking is I want to buy another field. I think that's one of the things I want to end up doing and let's see 158 because I'm I know it's not very flat I'm considering that one really considering 25 because uh, yeah and at the same time 30 so either 28 20 25 28 or 30 30 because it's already a grass field and I can start doing a bunch of silage on it that's one of the things I was thinking because I could get some decent money from that. Just mow the whole thing down, bail it all up, and sell it. And I think that would be a good way to go. But I have to get a lot of money to even consider that. And I don't know what we're going to do for that. So it's really just up in the air kind of deal. So if you guys have any input on that, let me know down below because I don't really know what I want to do. Do you guys want to just see more crops? Do you want to, what am I doing, uh, B. You know, do you, do you just want to hang out and just do some farming, you know what I mean? That's pretty much it. That's what I want to know. Right, there we go. Now we're lined up. That should get it. Yeah. Because I didn't really plow this field very evenly when I plowed it. <laughs> it was my first time plowing, okay? I think it'll be fine. But yeah, we should get a pretty good yield from doing this early because most of this should die off before the corn actually starts to grow because as you see we have no corn growth and if you can get rid of your stuff beforehand it usually helps um using the actual like weeders is usually better than doing it this way especially if you can get it before your crop comes out it's uh where is it these guys here i thought i'm pretty sure there was a thing you could drag behind and that helped a ton would it be under crop protection no well, I could be wrong for whatever. Oh, there it is. Weeders. Yeah, these things here. They got tines. Uh, the old, <laughs> the uh, inexpensive slash poor farmer way to do it is a chain link fence. You know, and that'll just, you know, you run the risk of damaging your crops though. So you're really going to be careful. But yeah, as I said, this should be a good yield. The corn down here is doing good. It's 100% fertilized. Actually, no, it shouldn't have been. A, it said it was 100% fertilized and it should not have been. We need to put another bit of fertilization on here. I could have sworn we did. I don't know, but we'll double check it once we finish doing the herbicide. Because honestly, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and I might harvest that field over there. Because I think that's one of the jobs that's up today, and we only have to bring it to uh, North Harbor there. The North Harbor, so. I think that'll be a pretty nice and easy job to do. It is also corn. So we might be able to make a little bit extra off of whatever is left over. Which would be very nice to be able to do. Have a little extra income. That is honestly the only upside to the harvesting jobs. Is you just get you know a little bit of extra money. Because you get to keep whatever's left over after the job's done. So. I'm going to take a look at it. Because I didn't take a look at it yet today in game. So there's going to be a couple of bits we'll have to look at. But let me finish getting this field together. And we'll come back with a bit of a better plan for what we're going to do. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I have been thinking. I did a bit of plowing on the field. I just put that guy back on, so he's just doing a bit over there. And uh, I'll also fertilize this. So that's all. That should be all set. Let me double check my spray map. Boom, boom. Yep. So yeah, it's nice and nice and fertilized. Uh, but yes. Yeah, so decisions, decisions, decisions. I was looking for a big spray job so that I could get the big, big tractor. Uh, oh, I'm going to say it's a tractor. The big machine that sprays. But there isn't one available right now, which is kind of a bummer. So I think what I am going to do is start off, where was it, field 11? 
Where is it? Do, 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 do. Field 11. We're going to start off on the field 11 harvesting because I already have the corn harvester and everything. And I know it's short money, but I think what's left over afterwards is going to be worth it. Um, I did also get the uh, figure out how to do multiples. I thought you could just do it and they removed it. I guess it's a mod. So uh, we're going to do that. I'm up on the light post, by the way, if you didn't know where I was. I'm actually going to swing this guy. He's going to get some gas quickly because, as you can see, he is flat out on the uh, the Nova 300 and the Nova 330 here. So let's swing on over. It's going to be expensive. That's the only thing I don't like is I'm going to end up having to pay a fortune in gas. Diesel, can I fill anything else now? All right. Let's see how much it costs me to fill this bad boy. Ugh. It's going to be 200? 250? What are we at? 285. Ew. All right, so yeah, we're going to swing this guy on over here and get him started. And then I want to move the smaller tractor over to the spray job that I just took. If I took the right one, I'm really hoping I took the right one. Uh, but yeah, he's going to start. I know it. I know I lose money by having somebody do the work, but I think it'll be the best way to start so I can get the other stuff done. Yeah, this is over here. Good. Uh, it is corn. That's what I thought. And this field isn't huge. That's why I was kind of looking forward to doing it. And we've already done this field before in the past. As I said, I like it because it's a bit closer. All right, so let's get this set. Boom. We're going to go V. We're going to go B. And get that started. Where it doesn't look like we're filling up fast. So let's hop on out of here. And did I pick up... I did. Uh, harvest spray field eight. Field eight's right over here, right? Yeah. So we're gonna bring our other little tractor over to field eight. Let's get this guy started up. He should have plenty of gas. I actually just took the sprayer off too because I was gonna have this start running, and I think I'm gonna use the truck for running. I know it's not really made for it, but I think it's gonna be our best choice right now. It's really the only reason I have it. I have looked into other vehicles for mods that you can get, but what we have is pretty much what we have, and I'm not too, too worried about it, so let me get this set, and I think what we're going to do is I'm going to hop on over there, and we're just going to dump this right into a nice little time lapse. We're going to get some music going. We're going to get at least whoop, the two jobs done. I just damaged that farm equipment right there. That was nice. Uh, What's that? R? Yeah. Boom. But yeah, I'm going to hop on into a little speedy up bit because I'm going to be jumping back and forth between the jobs. I might take a break in between to chit chat with you and figure some stuff out. But I think I'm just going to drive over to the field and get us started.
we're about halfway done, <laughs> which is nice. It's been a bit of a hike. Uh, the spraying went real well. That was actually real easy. And during that time, we've been planting that field over there, and it's still not done. That is such a... I don't know if it's that it's a big field or if it's just a small planter or cedar. I don't remember which one that is. But man, does it take forever, especially when the guy gets stuck. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I kept it in the time lapse, but I kept having to go over there and fix it because he kept getting hooked on the trees. And man, is that annoying. But we did already get our money for the spray job, which is nice because running all of the the stuff around. So obviously the worker doing the seating and the worker doing this while I've been transporting uh, was starting to use a lot of my money. So I'm kind of glad we're getting some bits done. The only downside, I think this one's only going to give me like 4K. Which won't be bad. I think that'll end up being more than what we started today with. But I need to start making money. You know what I mean? So that's going to be a, a big thing I got to keep looking at. We'll probably end up doing a couple more jobs in the next episode. Uh, or not. I may end up skipping the rest of this day. Because we have done a lot of work in this area. Uh, in this specific day, so I want to see about hopping days every once in a while. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference if I do or don't, but being able to would be nice, you know, because I feel it might do something good for me, or it might not, but I just want to make sure everything's set and ready before I go and do that. So, what I'm going to do now is uh, hop right back into the time lapse. Just wanted to swing on in and let you know what's up. I'm still getting the issue with the chickens. I don't know what's going on with that. And uh, yeah, I'll figure that out eventually. But what I'm gonna do now, oh sweet, this guy's almost done. Um, I'm gonna get this guy up and going, get that guy emptied, and hopefully we'll have this field done in just a little bit. This isn't the last of it, but this will be the last for the contract, which will be nice. We're going to wrap up here. The contract is finished. Now it's just boatloads of money because I think half of this trailer is just going to be straight cash money in my pocket. Yeah, look at that. 47. That's more than the whole contract. Yeah, what's the contract? 3,500 bucks? Yep, 3,400 bucks. So let's, um, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. As I said, there's still a little bit more over there. I actually want to check. Was this the best place to sell corn? Uh, da, 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 da. Oof. I should have saved it and brought it over to the grain mill. Because, yeah, Port North. Wow. I got boned selling the rest of that stuff. All right. Well, I'll have to remember that for next time to double check that kind of stuff. But I do have a bit on uh, the... Whoop, we're stuck right there. Yeah, this isn't the... Uh, this isn't what I should be using to pull this trailer, by the way. I just did it because we had the 
big tractor working that field sewing it for us but yeah so it gets stuck there but we'll load this up from everything that's left in the harvester there and bring it over to the grain mill but i'm actually going to do that on my own i don't actually know how long this episode is but i think this will be a good point for me to call it we planted a new field we did some fertilizing we did some uh, herbiciding i don't know if that's the technical term but we herbicided some stuff for ourselves and for another field and then on top of that we did a little bit of a uh, little bit of corn harvesting which shows how much corn how much corn is you know worth you get a lot of money for corn so i'm looking forward to that once we get our field done and yeah i'd say that's pretty good i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy please do let me know with a like and a comment down below but aside from that i hope to see you guys again soon and i hope you have a nice night day morning evening whatever it is wherever you are this is my defense i hope to see you again soon peace